Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Katie and welcome to another bookish adventure. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tag video, which I have not done in quite a while and I keep thinking, oh, I really must do a tag video. So today I am doing the anything but books tag and I really like tags where you can kind of get to know people sort of outside of books or just in general, like things that influence them and what they like. So this original tag is by Read or Root, but I saw this tag because it's quite an old one but i saw this tag quite recently on elliot brooks channel so here's 10 questions and let us begin one name a cartoon or cartoons that you love so i love cartoons and so this is like i could list you so so many cartoons but to save a very very long video aside from like obvious ones like family guy and like others by seth MacFarlane, simpsons uh, futurama so i was also like the ones that i've been watching recently so it's more things like archer bob's burgers bojack horseman final space and also paradise pd so those are like sort of ones that i've been watching recently um but yeah i mean i growing up as a kid i mean oh my god like i just i mean i still love kiddish cartoons like fairly or parent hey arnold like i could literally go on forever number two what is your favorite song right now um uh, that's quite hard because we don't have real music at work and um, we only have real music like on the radio at work but i'm not in the stock room that long so and also half the times like i never hear the whole thing because the like the like all the machinery for the chillers like is up there so it's always banging really loudly but music is just a huge part of who i am i absolutely love it recently i've been listening to a lot of selena gomez because obviously her new music has dropped so i've been listening to quite a lot of that but my taste is like so wild and so varied so like literally on my phone i can go from like walking to work to be listening to like beyonce to suddenly slip not lincoln park 30 seconds to mars panic at the disco fallout boy and suddenly we're going into something really happy territory like mcfly like i am so varied it's really ridiculous and then suddenly some childish gambino will come on so i'm very kind of like varied in my taste but yeah occasionally i get certain songs like stuck in my head and i get hooked on certain songs but in general it just like music is just everything number three what could you do for hours that isn't reading so easily so easily i could just sit and binge watch tv or films i prefer to watch films with people and i do I don't mind watching TV series with people. I do enjoy it. But I don't know. I do kind of prefer films with people and then TV series to myself. But either way, I could so just sit and binge forever. Number four, what is something that you love that might surprise your followers? So I don't think that is anything. I think because obviously I do weekly reading vlogs, you know a lot about my life. But you know, I you probably know that I love to go out for walks, whether it's on the beach or you know, in woodland areas. Like I love walking. Obviously, you know I go to the gym. I don't love the gym as you can tell I'm not like you know ripped to pieces but there's something about it that I love that when I'm on like the cross trainer or the treadmill my mind does kind of just go blank and it wanders and I do love the fact that I I like I lose time when I'm there and I'm not thinking about anything specific so that is quite a nice thing again wouldn't say I love it but kind of enjoyable and sometimes I feel good afterwards five what are your favorite unnecessarily specific thing you like to learn about so this answer can be to do with books honestly anything and everything i think i have one of these personalities that when i find out something if i'm watching something and it's based on something true or like when we watched the um that america versus oj thing and they also did the uh, versace version i just like i just love to know stuff as soon like when i start watching it recently i found myself whenever i watch a film or a tv series i will go onto imdb and i'll go like to the trivia page and i will just like want to read and find out everything yeah like wikipedia is a dangerous place for me like i can fall down a black hole like it can be science it can be historical things like it literally doesn't matter i just got sucked in it's a dangerous world for me six so what is something unusual that you can do i don't think there is anything i am not a talented person i don't even have weird talents i can't like dislocate my arm and do it i'm weirdly like a homing pigeon i guess like if i go away somewhere i can somehow just find a way but i don't know how i do this i did this in prague we like went out for like for our first day to have wonder and my friend was like shit where are we and somehow i was like yeah we just go this way the same when me and gavin went to amsterdam recently like i don't know what it is but there's something in my brain that's like yep yeah, cool i'm good at putting together flat pack furniture i don't think that's an unusual thing but i mean whenever i mention it to people
people everyone's like i hate flat pack and i'm like i love it like i can put it together like i love it I, it's apparently it's to do with something to do with your brain that is you can visualize what it would look like actually as you, like when you're doing it i don't know i love that like, like literally everything in my room i made this bed i'm sat on i built it number seven name something you have made in the last year i am the least crafty person you will probably ever meet i just i'm just not very good my mum is amazing she sews she does everything she is just like um i keep making various like plant pot things i guess like for my cactuses and succulents but literally i like i have no crafty likeness in me at all i wish i did but I, I don't. Number eight, what is your most recent personal project? Do you know something? It would probably, I've started a film journal, not necessarily a journal, but when I was younger, like in my early twenties, somehow I had less money, but went out all the time. And I used to like live in the pub, live in my local cinemas. And I was just always at the cinema. And I've just realized recently, I just don't go to the cinema anymore. And I hate that because it was my favorite thing. And my local cinema does like three pound Mondays. Well, I think it's not like three pound 50 Mondays, but even still it's like so cheap. So I decided that I wanted to sort of do a film journal just to, I think, encourage me to sort of like go more. So I wanted to actually stick my cinema stubs in it and then write down any films that like I watch at home. Just just to really kind of get me to go more because last year I hardly went and I feel like I missed out on so much. Number nine, tell us something you think about often, i.e. like when you're staring at a window. That's hard because my brain is just, yeah, it just goes off on random, random tangents. It's almost like it latches onto something. I mean, I'm not at a point where I'm like thinking about, you know, I don't have a job in which I could think about switching careers or a step up in a career. I like, I'm not at a point where I'm like thinking about babies all the time because I don't want a baby. I guess like when me and Gavin started gate dating, I say dating when we just started i think i latch onto personal scenarios and situations and in my head i would constantly be self-sabotaging and i would constantly fixate and like think about situations where him coming to me and going actually maybe we shouldn't like go any further than friends it's things like that i just will randomly think about stuff and i will be at work putting out delivery and i'll start thinking about the gym and trying to keep myself motivated like it's my brain literally goes off on such weird tangents and finally number 10 and this question i hate because i really struggle to think of something tell us something that is your favorite however it has to be like oddly specific so you can't be like food it has to be like food when you've done this or something after you've done this and this is really hard for me because i'm a very simple and easy person and i may only and I'm only 28 and I haven't lived that much of a life. And then it struck me. Like, I love food so much. I love going out. I love to eat places. I just, I love food. And the fact I'm not the size of a house is a small miracle. However, if we are going to get weirdly specific, I love pizza. There is like not a time in my life where I will never want pizza. I could eat it all the time. But Friday night in my house is pizza night. And this comes back to from when I was like five, six years old. We had moved to Reading. And every Friday night, my dad used to work late. So me and mum, we would get takeaway pizza. We would watch the exact same video. We would literally watch the exact same thing every Friday. We would just do this exact same thing. And then my dad would come back Saturday morning. And if he ever never, and if he ever didn't work late, we would banish him upstairs to the bedroom. Me and mum would have downstairs. To this day, Friday night is still pizza night. Like literally every Friday. It doesn't matter if I have someone around. Friday night is pizza night. If someone's like, oh, do you want to go for dinner? Oh, like, where do you want to go? I'm like, oh, if they go, oh, is Friday good for me? Like, oh yeah, we should get Italian. Like Friday night is pizza night. And it makes me really happy. And I don't know why. And there's something just really nice about saying, you know what? When I was six years old, me and my mom, we used to do this thing and we have never stopped. Only now we just buy the pizza. We don't get takeaway because, you know, money. We don't watch the same video anymore uh but we do still watch like the same things on tv like soaps and stuff i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope you have learned a little bit more about me as always smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and comment below answer some of these questions yourself like number 10 let's get weirdly specific and awkward here people and number six is there anything unusual that you can do because i'm like i have no party tricks i can't pull anything out if you're new hit the subscribe button and then ding that bell and never miss a video i hope you had a great weekend and i will see you on thursday for another weekly reading vlog